All right, friends, welcome back to a new episode of The Cheesiest Man Alive. And today we're going to be having a, an hour an hour full of cannon rushes is what we're aiming for here. And we're starting against a Terran player. And I know that Terran is probably the hardest to cannon rush against. And on these new maps in general, it's fairly difficult to cannon rush. So we're going to need to try our best. Uh, I still think it's possible. We need to just build pylons in the good positions, hope our opponent falls asleep a little bit, and maybe life is going to be okay. I also think I already sent my first worker out a little bit too slow, but... Um, no, I, I, I definitely sent out my first worker a little bit too slow, look at that. Not going to be capable of quite getting my first pilot down in time. Where would I build it? Good lord, these maps are terrible. Who thought that these maps were going to be fine? Our cannon rushing was completely incorrect. Okay, we're just going to walk in, I guess. Or do I just stay on the low ground, build two cannons, hope for the best, and then take it from there i kind of want to follow it up with like a proxy stargate as well you know go very old school with it uh, i think that would be good can i build i can't even build two cannons that can attack it these have to be some of the worst maps for cannon rushing in the world now here we go oh well i mean i i can't wall with this i just realized that's not really how starters two work you <laughs> can just you can just raise the depot. He's also proxying me though, which actually kind of does suck. Um, uh oh, is he continuing to attack me? I think he might be trying to at least. Definitely is trying to. We'll get a cannon in my main mineral line, so if he sends a reaper over, I can deal with that in a sufficient manner too. I'm gonna build it here so I can attack the refinery. If he pulls workers, he can probably deal with that temporarily at least. Which is nice for him. Yeah, and annoying for me. Okay, well, whatever. Now we'll just build one here. I wonder if I can attack this. Is this the only building I can attack? That's fantastic. That's actually just fantastic. That is just great. God, I love my life sometimes. I'm um, just gonna go back home, I guess. I'm just gonna start attacking this. Okay. I mean, I don't mind it too much. Yeah, come on. Keep repairing that, buddy. Keep repairing that. I want to get another cannon over here, just... Do I actually want that? Yeah, I think I do. He's probably also proxying a... Uh, what do you call it over now? A factory somewhere over here. No way this works. I think it worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt very good. <laughs> no, I take the cannon! Or the... the, the the building here you prick what, what is he doing oh no um gotta see if we can get another surround in okay nice well at least this is gonna continue to build kind of on a battery as well just defensively i think it would be a good call here and then we're just going to be building pure units i think it's going to be a, a cyclone out very very shortly from here on out very very soon I'm a oh tank wait if there's no cyclone coming out I don't actually care about any of this do I no I actually don't I can't believe I built them in the exact same spot so there's a factory back there um, I did clear some units though some workers as well right this is this is bad for me I mean, surely it's bad for me that's the, the one thing I do know for sure but is it going to be the end of the world I hope not I'm lacking workers, though, in a pretty big way. Freaking Proxy... Proxy Reaper is probably one of the worst things I can play against, isn't it? Because he's so quickly on my side of the map. I mean, what are you going to do? Kill my cannon? I don't think that's possible, Chief. Go on, move down here. Come on, please be on A move. Hey, he was on A move, actually. So if they're on A move there, then you can just continuously go. Um, well, how do we want to follow this up? Blink, DTs? I don't actually know what I want to do. A Robo? Yes, Robo provides some safety, but I really have a, pr a, a cannon as well to, to deal with anything too difficult. Like Banshees, a cannon is going to be fantastic, obviously. wonder if this is what I need. Yeah. I think I'm in trouble. My Nexus hopefully is faster at least, that would be one good thing. Um, as a tank is going to start shooting this pylon soon. 
I bet he's building cyclones behind this. And I wonder what he did with his main barracks. It must have been really close to my main base. If he's building marines from there, I could actually still be in some major trouble. Because then he just attacks me with like a tank, 8, 10, 12 marines, or however many it is at this point. What did I say? What did I say? I said this could be trouble. I knew he was trouble when he walked in. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that was good for me, I think. Oh, crap. I thought I had built a battery here, but I guess I had cancelled it as well. Okay, I'm gonna lose this stalker, but... We have a good worker count, which is something. I kept... Two stalkers alive. And one sentry alive. So maybe that's okay. How about we get a plus one out here? And then we follow it up with a charge all in. So we get a... Oh, glaive! Plus one glaive. That's going to be it, of course. Ah, why was I thinking of charge? No. Plus one glaive is actually going to be quite powerful. So it does mean he is building marines from somewhere over here. Um, which does feel very good for me. Uh, never mind. That doesn't feel so good for me. Not entirely sure if I can continue to survive this. Because he's going to get like two tanks out. And a bunch of marines. Oh, there's the, there's the tanks. And a banshee. Oh no, that's definitely game over, isn't it? Oh, that's definitely... Yeah, we're, we're dead. Should have had a battery or two. Oh, I would have lost anyway. Unfortunate, yeah. Initial cannon rush is not dealing enough damage there, I think, is the issue. This, this cannon not being in range of any of the workers really messed with me. I should have scouted if there was a factory here or a factory on the other side. Because that could have informed me in some of my decisions here. And I should have looked for this barracks a lot faster as well. So, lots of mistakes being built, or being made. And uh, not, not a solid way that I outplayed it here. Lost four workers, killed four workers. Simply just not good enough, right? Yeah, then I'm just behind in tech. I'm behind in absolutely everything. And rather than going plus one, I probably should have started pumping out Immortals at a very high pace. Gotten a battery down here a little bit faster as well, but I didn't do any of those things, and I ended up paying the price. All right, first game is a loss, but that won't stop us. GG counter remains the same, and that's uh, Cannon Rush's second full. Next opponent is Serra C, a uh, Protoss player who I've never heard of. Good lord, how am I going to pull it off on this map, huh? Riddle me that, my friends. Is there... I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not seeing it, uh, to be honest. This map is insane. Where am I supposed to cannon? Over here? Actually. Cannon here. Pylon. 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 This is a tall order, my friends. This is a tall order. Let me tell you that. Um, good lord. They really didn't make cannon rushing easy on this map. I, I know that the Zergs and the Terrans had a lot of influence here. Mainly the Zergs. Afraid of cannon rushing. This is something else, isn't it? Look at this. This is going to be the, the spot. And then... Where, is this, there's, there's not even a single thing where I can hide anything. This is garbage. This is complete garbage. Hello? Hello, my dear friend. I want to throw down a, a little bit of a cannon over here. Oh, there we go. Going in. Can we can we wall ourselves in or something? Temporarily? I think we can, actually. Oh, that feels good, at least. Hoppa! He probably thinks I can do something here. I, I just want to keep my probe safe, really. That's the only thing I care about. Then I think I'll have to build a cannon in this location. Um... And then as a follow-up, we'll, we'll add a couple more cannons, but not too many, obviously. You gotta be careful. Up, oh, that's gone. Bang, bang. <laughs> You're dead. Um, I don't think I can actually defend that. I know for a fact that I can defend that. But the question is, does my opponent know I can defend that? Sometimes that is the most important thing when cannoning. It's not whether you know whether you can defend something, but whether your opponent is aware of the fact that you can or can't defend something. If this one goes up, that would be huge. I think it will go up. Okay, this is huge. Double gas is going down. Um, I probably want to take out as much of my opponent's probes as fast as possible as well. And I think the setup for my opponent here is going to be fairly simple now. 
in my mind, he's going to go for a Void Ray Rush here. A little bit of a Void Ray Rush. And I need to stop that. So we have double gates. I'm going to get a cybernetic score. A second pylon. I'm considering getting a cannon as well here. Uh, Void Ray will pop out when? 243. Stargate finished at this point. If he was really fast in the respawn. So that, that is, of course. If he was really fast in the respawn, he's going to have a... Uh, a Void Ray starting now. Chrono boost on it. Will pop out like maybe 3, 315, 320, something like along those lines. Seems about fine. Um, I'm not sure if I can do it. I'm, I'm going to need a battery. I'm going to need a battery. I'm going to need to get my units out of here somehow. Some way. I, I mind a little bit too much gas as well. Okay, double Chronos. That's good. We'll get a battery down here. You can attack this thing, my friend. Oh, he's recalling. What? Excuse me? Oh, this, so there's no proxy then, huh? Well, we can attack these two buildings and... Oh. That makes life a little bit easier, but at the same time also scarier because I don't entirely know what the follow-up is going to be. Do you have a base over here? Like, where, where, where are you building, buddy? I want to know. Let's just go scout around the map. Oh, there is indeed going to be a, uh, a Void Ray still, though. Yeah, I'm... I'm just not as I'm not as afraid of this unless there's batteries somewhere. Which uh oh, is there batteries down here or no? I think there might be batteries down there. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this all. I shouldn't have spoken. Shouldn't have said anything. If there's batteries down here, that could be kind of scary. But if there's no batteries nearby, then tough luck, brother. I don't think you can do anything with just pure void rays. Void rays aren't actually good against stalkers. Void rays are only good against stalkers if they have a battery to back them up and if the stalkers don't have blink, if the stalkers are in inferior numbers. Otherwise, immortals are just a lot better. I think it's here. No, it's not. That means there's two locations left over. There's one location left over, and that's this. Okay, Robo's being followed up with. Is that two gateways? That is... What is this? Is that a twilight? Oh, this is a rebuilt cyber core, I guess. That is indeed a rebuilt cyber core. I want one battery, I think. Now, I also... I'm going to build a nexus over here. Never mind. I cancel that. Uh, I cancel that proposition. <laughs> the nexus being built over there is now officially gone. Um, yeah, we'll clear this forge, and after clearing this forge, we'll send out our worker again. Because right now we don't actually have that much gas, so we can't even continuously warp in stalker. Might as well spend that that that, that money on something useful like a nexus somewhere else. Oh, he's, he, I think he's, he's aware right now but I, that I want to send something out at least. It's going to be an immortal at some point, and that's what's scaring me in a way. Uh, if he ever moves out with any unit to kill my Nexus, that would be really good for me, because it would practically just allow me to, to kill his base, right? Uh, if I invest 400 minerals here, he's going to need to send over two immortals to deal with it, or like a bunch of units. And I can always deal with it either with a warp in, with a small recall, or I can just counterattack and kill him. Uh, all of these options are completely viable in my mind. About evenly viable as well. So there's still one assimilator here. And yeah, we'll, we'll get our Nexus at this point. We'll get our Nexus at this point, followed up with a Stalker. And I think we'll be fine. Is he... No, he's not mining this. Can I... Wait, a second Stargate? No, that's the first Stargate. That's the Cybernetic score. That's Pylons. I don't think he has a very good army, honestly. We got a pylon in this location. Kind of just scout around for a little bit. Then take it from there. That's, I think, what I'm going to do. Make sure that I get this watchtower too. Okay, he doesn't have an extra base. I don't have to do anything. Right now I can just clear units one by one. So if, it, if he moves like forward with a sentry, uh, I can go there. The problem for my opponent now is as well that... Uh, if I ever get to a critical mass of stalkers, I can blink on top of immortals. One shot, run away, like blink in, run away, blink in, run away. Or he'll need to start adding a lot of sentries. Sentries cost gas, which is the one thing you don't want to lose right now. Because his entire army runs on gas. I mean, he's either going to be building void rays or immortals. Or an oracle. Oracle is an incorrect call here. The only thing that could win him this game is probably going into... What's it called? Into Twilight Council and uh, Invisible Units, but even then, I'm not really seeing it happen, to be to be honest. 
We have a second base already. My opponent definitely does not have a second base. I think he's trying to lure me away from my main base as well. It's allowed, but it's not going to help you. Oh, this one's moving across the map. You must have uh, spotted that one. Just gonna, I mean, this is what I said, right? I'm just going to warp in two stalkers over there. I'm going to be in a completely fine spot. Like, what are you going to do about it? If I, ha if I have two stalkers there. That's a dead oracle, huh? No? That indeed is. Right, that was just not worth it. He's about to run out of his... Uh, or his base is about to run out. I just popped some shields. Puff! 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 And we piss off again. So, we lost 2-3 stalkers and we killed 2-3 major units. That's the advantage of having a critical mass of stalkers when you can one-shot things. Like, he's, sh he's one-shotting my stalkers, but I'm one-shotting his big units. And there's... Like, he needs to add so much infrastructure in order to match me. Uh, by that time, I already have like seven gates and blink stalkers. So we're gonna pop in one more time here. Hey, we don't even have to, right? He knows it's over as well, right? At this point, I think. Pop. So yeah, I lose one stalker, kill an immortal. These are good traits, obviously. Don't need to tell that to anyone. Pop, pop shields. I can even clear this thing, I think. Oh, that wasn't a one-shot. Don't think it's going to matter, though. Can't even just two-shot everything. Like, through shields. Through the fire and the flames. Yeah, the only thing that can kill me right now is... Oh, DTs can't even kill me. I already have a battery. I wasn't even aware of that. Or a cannon. I forgot about that. But from the early game, I built a cannon in there. So, yeah. Very clean win for me. GG gets called. So, that means we are going to see uh, a G being added here in the GG counter. Make that 91 out of uh, 149, almost 150 games, a very decent number. Six points in the pocket, my opponent was 5-4. We'll head straight away into our next one. Random here. Which means, if he doesn't tell me what race he is, which I don't think he will, I'm going to be forced to the blind cannon, which uh, is the worst thing that can happen in all of StarCraft 2. You know, I'm, I'm not a blind cannoner. You can call me a lot of things, but... I don't cannon blindly, usually. I, I, I like the cannon with the knowledge of where I need to put my first pylon, what my goal is going to be, all of that type of jazz. But uh, if my opponent doesn't tell race, then I'll need to figure... I need to I need to start gathering some clues here, some evidence, you know? Does my opponent smell? So, yes, is he a Zerg player? Yeah, low IQ, maybe it's a Terran. Okay, it doesn't feel like it's going to be a hatch first. Something along those lines. <laughs> You'll figure it out. We should send a second one of these across the map. I don't think he was paying attention here. Go to Akron. Let me. I want to steal a gas as well. Second Chrono. Well, whatever happens, happens, is what I always say. And something interesting here is about to happen. At least in my opinion. He's gonna pull workers here. Yes. I don't quite know where he needs to. No, I can't cancel the wrong building. No. I want to cancel my pylons, not... Not the other thing. Oh, no. <laughs> this is chaos and drama here. Oh, no. This is not... Oh, my God. Kevin, we've done it again. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. What, what happened there? What happened there? It, something that wasn't good happened there, okay? I'll admit to it immediately. That was not okay. I apologize for that behavior as well. Uh, let's expand behind this. See if we can still make it happen, maybe. I have a feeling we will not be capable of making it happen, but... Yeah, yeah. Come on. At least that's something, right? I'm gonna send these back home. Pylon downstairs definitely is going to help. Single gate only. Okay, it's, it's bad. But the question is, is it end of the world bad here? I think the answer to that is also yes. So I think it is very, very bad in multiple ways. I don't think there's very much I can do anywhere. It's going to send this stalker across the map. 
I think I want to get a cannon before I get my cybernetic spore in that case. I think this is the, the, the correct order of things. Ah, yeah. We have massive issues right now. I'm going to pretend to scout. So maybe he walks around. He like chases me around. Oh no, not my probe. This is, this is exactly my goal because it delays the inevitable of him attacking my cannon by a little bit. So that's not actually so bad. See, we win a little bit of extra time here. Can he walk past? I mean, he's allowed to do that. I don't think that's so bad for me, is it? Can he pass through? Yeah, I can definitely pass. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Not a huge fan of how that went. I'm um, just gonna get a robotics facility here on the low ground. That allows me for quick reinforcements. And we're gonna scout across the map as well at the same time. Now, if he goes for an expo plus a Stargate, I think I'm dead. If he plays... Honestly, there's a lot of things that kill me in this case. So I think a straight up all in would kill me. I think a uh, Nexus with a Stargate kills me. Ooh. I kn the, 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 the most important thing here is that I get at least a little bit of information. That gave me a lot of information, actually. That gave me a lot of info. I can't afford anything either, which is slightly frustrating. I'm gonna cancel some workers. Okay. Chrono boost this out a couple of times. If I can, maybe I can just. And this worker pass as well. No way he's in my main base, right? Uh oh. It's not quite ideal. I don't think you want to fight that. Not in a battery, right? Oh. We're walking past. I really need some vision. Like I, I can't, I can't go living on like this, you know. I, I need, I need some information because I can't. I want to know if I need to add more, more crap or less crap, or if I'm doing the correct thing right now. Oh, I think I'm doing the correct thing right now. Oh, I probably want to get a. No, I already have an extra pylon on the way. I want a battery on my high ground as well, I guess. Oh, we survived? We survived for now, at least. Is it possible that we make the... Oh, maybe not. Maybe the answer is no. <laughs> maybe the answer was just no. Is it possible? I should have gone for no. It is not possible, my friends. Oh, that stays alive at least. That's nice. We want sentries or more immortals? For now, more immortals, I guess. We have two cannons. I want to still check if he doesn't uh, isn't secretly building a third base here somewhere. That doesn't seem to quite be the case. And he cleared a cannon as well, or what? What was that? I think that was a cannon clear all. We have a super well we have super battery availability, but we don't have the energy available, which is probably a little bit worse for me. That was a good good blink in out of my opponent. I, I, I need to I, I'm gonna lose a couple more things, I think. Like a couple more a couple more cannons before anything goes horribly wrong. I, I don't mind that because now I have super battery. So if he blinks in at this point, which I think he's going to do. Did he just clear a stalker for free? I think he might have. And then another cannon. I mean, it is possible, right? Crazier things have happened in the world. What's the play here, my friend? What's the play? Do I need more energy? No. Oh, crap. He's jumping into my main. That's the play. Actually, a good play as well. Like, le legit. Legit good play. 
I didn't think he was gonna jump forward once more. That was less of a good play. And I think I just won the game after Worlds. Well, I don't wanna say worst cannon rush, but I cannon rush that. <laughs> that got stopped because I accidentally cancelled my own cannon. And I have enough cannons here. Look at that. This is beautiful. This is how life is supposed to be. Look at that, my friends. I do not lose. I don't make mistakes. This was all planned, baiting him into an all in for an easy dub, as we call it over here. Wait, what? Is he memeing right now or what? I hope he jumps in at some point. Definitely feels like it would be somewhat of a correct play. I mean, what do I do from here? Do we just... I get plus one, I guess, right? I mean, why not? Plus one seems like a fun plan. Yeah, jump up all you want. I mean, I have two sentries up here. That actually does sound good. He's gonna jump up, isn't he? No, he's not. <laughs> All right. Is there something you want to tell me, buddy? And maybe he doesn't have appetite for MMR. That could be the name of a StarCraft documentary. Appetite for MMR. It would be narrated by Tasteless. I feel like every StarCraft 2 documentary should be narrated by Tasteless. I'm not sure who it would be about. It would be about like people that are really good on the ladder but suck in tournaments. I feel like that would be a, a great niche topic as well. That at least five five hundred people will watch in the cinemas. I wonder how difficult it actually is to get a movie into a local cinema. You know, if I create a movie about ladder players called Appetite for MMR. Are there any local cinema owners? Yeah, among my viewers, if so. How about that? An appetite for MMR. We can make it together. Because as a cinema owner, you obviously know something about film. So you should, you should, you know, it's a, a joint process. Akron doesn't seem to have an appetite for MMR or an appetite for not wasting his time. Oh, crap. Maybe I can save one. I can definitely save one. Wait, no way. I don't even have a super battery. No, I do not. GG. This is still one base? The charge kind of surprised me. I'm going to be real. I shouldn't have moved out without blink and without plus one. But what happened here? <laughs> okay, so I cancelled. I accidentally cancelled my cannon. Then here I still cleared like three, four workers. So I'm up two workers right now. Then I lose one more. And he has a cyber core before my gateway is even halfway done. So I'm down like a full minute with tech. But my nexus is already up. Is this situation good? No. It's honestly terrible. But. But. But, but, but. He follows this up with a terrible, like legitimately one of the worst builds he could have picked, I think. I think if you go Stargate into nexus or just anything into nexus right now, you're going to be fine. Um, I also lost like seven workers trying to scout what was going on. I never got the scout what was going on. Here he walks out. Bloody bloody blah. Starts to blink. To adapt as well. I think I did the best I could. This was a gamble on the robo, you know? It's like I was praying, I said it. I'm like, I hope that he goes for an all-in, because otherwise I'm dead. Went for an all-in, and I still should have been dead, but somehow, some way we made it work. This was a good force field. Cleared some stalkers. Yeah, what a game of StarCraft 2. He did GG, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely did GG. If I recall correctly. Have a look at that last five. Yeah, GG. Solid. Second GG of the day. And another cannon rush win here as well. Brings the total up to 92 out of 150. Way over 50% at the moment. Very impressive. And the next game that I'm going to win is also going to be very impressive. Watch that. All right. Same player, but perhaps a different race as he's still playing random. And I have to take a look here. How I want to do it exactly. I'm going to send this one across the map. And um, actually build a pylon up here first. Yeah, yeah, that feels good. Can I just go go about it like that? 
I'm not so sure if I can. What if it's a hatchery? What do I do then? What if it's Zer? What do I do? There's so many questions I have for myself. And I can answer none of them. Worst case scenario obviously would be Akron getting Terran, as that's his real race. I hate when I play against randoms and they get their real race. It feels like a, an unfair match all of a sudden. Oh. This is actually a, a good position to cannon from, though. That's it. Oh, no way, my friend. No way. Yes, you can cancel if you want to. You can leave. Oh, he's going to go for kills. Good call, honestly. Oh, I hope I can make it out. Alive. Oh, we managed to get up. We managed to get up. And... I think we win. He was hard countering me as well with that scout timing, wasn't he? Weren't you, matey? Okay, another cannon up here. And we're so close by. This map's not bad for cannon rush, by the way. Holy crap. Oh, this is not in range? I really did believe that was going to be in range, huh? Eh. I mean, right now, everything's going to be in range because this cannon's about to finish. Oh, that's gone. I wonder if I can clear this. I think I can, actually. Ah, I couldn't in time. GG! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not GG though, that's nice at least. Oh, that feels so good. He thought he had to be all locked in. I didn't realize that there was a, a secondary way to block here. Oh, that felt so nice. So, I'll show you what happened. So, there's two ways you can block. And I went for the initial one. So, I wanted to go for this. Locking my opponent out. I had enough money for it, but I don't think I would have ever gotten it fully anyway. So I want to go for this. I think he realized that. So he started blocking here with a pile in this location. And I just blocked this. Puff! Which is a full wall. And this, which doesn't look like a full wall to the untrained mind. But to the trained mind, like you, I, and every single viewer. Look at this. Poof! Can't go through, my friend. What you can do, I think... Maybe you can buck through here. So what, maybe what he could have done is this. No, it doesn't work. That would have been a move, though, if that would have worked. But it doesn't, so it's all irrelevant. I don't think you can buck through mineral patches often. But yeah, nothing to do. Oh, what a what a graceful victory that was. A beautiful one. Actually, one of the, the pretty ones. We'll wait a little bit until Acheron has left the ladder or found a new game. Don't want to cannon rush the same guy three times in a row and you know inflict this kind of pain onto someone. That's just straight up rude. Um, as we'll go into our fifth game. All right, this time we get a, a Terran Kyrgios. Haven't quite heard of this fella. Kyrgios, right? Yeah, I'm seeing it correctly. Okay. Well, Kyrgios is about to uh, get introduced to my two good friends, Cannon and Cannon. Where do I build my first pylon, though? I love how unprepared. This, this reminds me of the old episodes, you know, where you're just kind of figuring it out as you go. I think that's the beauty of cheese as well. I think once a cheese becomes too too, too, too too, optimized, it almost doesn't count anymore. It feels more like an all-in at that point. If you want an all-in, well, that's also fine, but... You know, a cannon rush, it needs to be bad in some way. You know, the things need to go wrong for it to be the perfect type of cannon rush. I need to cancel one of my own cannons, then it feels better for me. I, I really, I truly believe that. I'm not just saying that. It, it's so much more fun as well when you still win after something goes horribly wrong. And it feels more frustrating for the opponent, which is also always going to be a positive, of course. Okay, I wonder if we can just do it like this, maybe. Oh, that is beautiful. That is just straight up beautiful. Now, I love this type of play, okay? I absolutely adore this type of stuff. Gonna go for double... Doubles? Oh, you're stuck here with me. Yeah, <laughs> you're out. Get out, son. We don't want you here. Move. Move over, boy. This is gonna die. Bunker's gonna get up too slow, I think. 
Um, but we're not actually going to commit to this play either. Like this is a this is a fake one. This is a fake play. Can I get a pylon up here? I can attack this right now. More of these. Probably should be trying to attack my probes at least, but he ain't. His mistake. Wouldn't completely surprise me if he's proxying a factory on the map right now. This feels somewhat okay. Oh. Right, there we go. And I have a fast... Uh, a fast cybernetic score. So the proxy is going to be killed. If there's even a proxy, marine card is going to be low. Let's uh, follow this up properly then, shall we not? Oh, he's actually he's in range. I figured he was in range. I just didn't want to say it out loud because I was afraid, you know? If you say things out loud, they often become true. Uh, we got a Stargate over here. And I think an Adept is our first unit. Then we follow this up with a battery in this position. So this battery provides some value for this cannon while not being in range of the ramp quite yet. Did I... Okay, it's... This guy's never gonna make it out. It's like, what's up? Oh, this, this is potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured. I figured I would have potential. Okay, it's gonna be Cyclone, most likely. I can live with all of this. I can, I can live with this start. Now, the beauty of building batteries early is that they might actually get the energy that you want them to have. So this is not good. Just gonna chill here on the ramp for now. Void ray popping out. And we'll actually cancel this... This bad boy. I followed up with a Tempest immediately. I haven't done a Tempest rush in a long time. Ever since the battery nerf, it's just been... Well, it's been a lot worse, honestly. Tempest rushes. That type of jazz. Okay, I know he's gonna move forward right now with his Marines, so we're just... Gonna keep the ramp with this bad boy. Okay, never mind. Good call, Kevin. I know he's gonna move forward with his Marines. Okay, now he's gonna move forward with the Marines, maybe. What are you doing, Chief? Huh? I don't know what he's doing here. I wonder if I can lock on. That would be fantastic, of course. Oh. Just gonna get more and more batteries as well. Maybe one more cannon wouldn't hurt either. But I'm not entirely sure if I need need it. He's not getting his upgrade yet, is he? It didn't look like anything interesting was researching there. There's no reactor on this. I have hope. I definitely do have some hope. We can heal this for a couple of sec. One more Tempest needs to pop out here. Yep, there we go. This all feels very, very good. Up, oh, you die as well. Eh. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen most likely because this is not a very good build, but I was hoping that my Void Ray could stay alive just a little bit longer. I have two cannons here now, which actually should help. Got a Chrono Boost on this as well. The healing rate of the batteries is simply too, too slow. I'm gonna start moving to the high ground. Pop this one open. Pop this one. Get a couple of these. As long as I have vision of the high ground, I'm pretty happy with all of this. That's what the pylon really is for as well, of course. Oh, I killed him? Finally. Nice. Maybe I can clear some air units. Yep, I can. I actually don't care at all about losing these buildings. These buildings are like cannon fodder, basically. Oh, I'm not my crown. Oh, lost one. Actually, losing one Tempest sucks. That's the one thing I will say, because now I can't kill his units as fast. Ah, that actually does suck. It's because I it wasn't fast enough with my pullback, I think. Oh, that's one Cyclone down, though. I don't, I don't care at all about these buildings because I have enough money to continuously build Tempest. If only I had one more Tempest at this point, I could one-shot freaking Cyclone, which would be huge. As long as the Marines also disappear, that also would be a big thing.
Move back, move back. That was good for me. That was real good for me. Hop. That was fantastic. Okay. Next Tempest coming out. Is he building multiple Vikings or no? Cannons are the future, obviously. Oh, that dies. That also dies. That dies. No, it doesn't. One more cannon. They're just crawling forward. Slowly but surely. That's that. Oof. It's gonna come from the left side now, I think. Can clear this, maybe? I think we won this game, no? I think we won this game. No more big units are out. Cannons are on the high ground. And that can only mean one thing. That means that every single bad boy that's going to pop out at this point will just straight up get popped. So, yeah, it's game over in that case. Oof, you die as well. Like, it's gonna be pure marine, and marines don't actually kill me. What is that? Oh, that's a marine drop. Actually, somewhat frustrating, but also not the end of the world. I wonder if I actually need to go back home. Maybe I just build a nexus right over here. Like, do I actually need that base still? I don't think I do. I could have called back home, but I, I, th I think this is best. Oh, we can... Oh, can I clear that? Yeah, it's gonna pull completely, but... Yeah. GG! Another GG! Man. What does a man need to do these days? To, to get a Terran to leave it out G. Why are these Terrans so mannered today? It's messed up. It's because Aquaron is mannered as well, I guess. 94 out of 152. This is wild. We've won four games with cannon rushes and every single player so far has, has GG'd versus me. Alright, well, I mean, if that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. I'm not going to stop you, you know? it's uh, That's life as well, but... It surprises me, to say the least. All right, we got uh, Ticket's Ashbringer here as our next opponent. Pretty decent Protoss player. Pretty decent Protoss player indeed. We're just going to send this out as fast as we can. Go for a full wall. Babylon's actually not a bad map for cannon rushing. I think it's the only map in the map pool currently that has some viable cannon rush spots. Probably should actually veto some maps when I do pure cannon rushings. Actually, should have definitely done that. It's not even a, a question of whether I should. It's yes. The answer is yes. Yes, I should. Uh, we're going to just hide over here in the corner for a little bit. Hope that he didn't build his first pylon on the low ground. Although there is a distinct possibility that that is indeed what happened. Okay, not the case. Noise. Very noise even. And then we'll build our first pylon in this location. Hope that he doesn't see that. Rather than building it here, which should be more in vision. Okay, he should be moving out soon now with a probe. Oh. Can't actually afford a cannon right now, which is semi-frustrating, but whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. We were meant to be together. Na, 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 na. Okay. Do we full wall? No, you never full wall if you don't have to. Gonna boost this out as well. But he's following it up with a forge himself. This is actually kind of uh, risky. The forge defenses are risky. You need a, a pylon in this area then, that's for sure. You can still lose all your buildings anyway as well. Oh, you're gonna need you're gonna need a pylon back here, but if your pylon is slower, you're in trouble now. Oh, it's not slower though. A cyber guard. This is one of the sickest defenses I've seen, by the way. Very solid defense. You can cancel this cannon now. If he's smart, he knows it. Yeah, he canceled it. Okay, I can kill both of these buildings, though, which is nice. 
Um, because that probably means I can... Oh, what? I want to get a little bit of... Uh, of added life, and then I move up to the pylon up here. No, wait, I can't. Can't even do that. Can't even do that. We are gonna get a nexus. Man! This feels hard. Wish I had this pylon slightly further to the left. Oh, no, I lost that as well. That was not entirely brilliant. Um, do we follow this up with a stargate? I think my opponent is following it up with a stargate. That's why I'm asking. I should definitely have a faster... Faster something. Faster Nexus. Is that enough? It's like a one gate expand at this point. I don't know. I'm feeling a, a proxy stargate by quite a bit now. I'm I'm getting bad 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 juju here. Bad vibes. Okay, whatever. One battery in the main. There's no way that's gonna be in time though. Gotta move this around. Around, around, get around, I get around. I was right, but different. It's very different than I thought it was going to be. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm dead. You're just going to right click that pylon now. I finished that battery, which actually could come in handy. Look at this. No way. We actually just need to survive on one base at this moment. We killed 10 workers. What if we survive? Is my question now. I think we win. If we just survive now. Just gotta make sure I have a super battery ready at all times. Wanna get more gates, maybe blink. More gates, okay. Pylon over here. Super battery, I can activate. And we killed 11 workers with one one dude. I think we're gonna go for blink here. Yeah, for sure, why not? See what you have, bud. Show me what you got. Ooh, okay, we're gonna go back in the back into the main base. No business for us outside and hopefully we can actually hold off the opponent a little bit up here well if we get this oracle to go out as well whoo, that'd be a sheesh moment for sure a very good sheesh i'm so glad i finished that battery in my main now i was gonna cancel it after i saw the stargate and the the void ray i was like eh, probably should cancel it but i shouldn't have and i guess somewhere deep inside of me i knew that as well i'm gonna clear some workers on the other side once more Probably has a good worker count at this point already. It's back up to like 18, maybe 19. But what he doesn't have... ...is Blink. I think he's gonna be stuck on this comp for a little while. I wonder if he has a Nexus yet as well. It's definitely not the case. Oops. I think we're winning. Got five more workers here for free. We're gonna make the same round again. <laughs> See this works. I don't think he's gonna get a battery in time. Oh, never mind. I canceled that plan. No, I don't cancel the plan. Yeah, yeah he's gonna be in position, right? Surely. Never mind. Never mind, I said nothing. Okay, I need a recall or I'm gonna die. Or, unless he's not here anymore. Wait, if he's here, then I don't need to recall. If he's not here, we just get a Nexus. Clear this battery. Yeah, sure, I lost that. I don't care. That's pretty much expected. Par for the course. Chrono Boost Blink again? No, also not necessary. Gonna stay on the high ground with the majority of my army. Once I, I think I have Blink faster too, which is big. 
Then we get a pylon down here and we scout across the map with this worker. Wait, he's actually going for it or what is this? Is he actually going for it? No way. I mean, if we have blink, don't I just win fights here? That's a win, no? No GG from the Ash Bringer. The Bringer of Ash burnt up. Whew. And he also burned some of his MMR into the ground. Oh, sometimes I'm afraid, you know, that I, what I'm doing right now is not a service to humanity anymore. And people are all mannered. And I'm the prick, just cheesing people for no reason. But it seems that that's not the case. There's still some non GGers out on the ladder. And until all of them have disappeared, we can continue our uh, noble occupation and that's what we're gonna do continue our noble occupation of uh, cannon rushing and getting people to tap gg before they leave spots 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 here as a uh, our next opponent that's interesting because i know spots doesn't like one gate expanding which is good for me because one gate expanders are probably the the bane of my cannon rushing existence. Come on. There we go. I still believe I should probably send this worker out a little bit faster, especially on the large maps. I keep telling myself these things and then never obliging by it. I should actually just keep a notebook of Harstam's cannon wish then. You know, and then I just write down every little thing I say whenever I lose a cannon rush with what I should have done. Because I feel like this happens every single episode. I'm just relearning the same six things over and over it's like oh right i should not be there with my probe i should not be doing this i should not be doing that but well, probably would be a lot more efficient for me to write this now wait did he just i think he, he's moving to the left i think he's about to proxy something um i'm also about to proxy but it's a pylon just go up the ramp oh figure that out real fast don't enjoy that very much mate don't enjoy that very much at all matey i think i can do this Way, right? This is the first time I ever did this cannon rush, I think, in my life. I don't think I've ever done this one successfully before. Where do I build it? Bottom side? I think so, right? Oh. Let me just run this one around for a little bit. I'm not so sure if I can actually get away with it here. Okay, that dies. So that way I give myself a little bit more time, maybe. So this one's also gonna die. I'm gonna rebuild it. So I'm holding down the, the spam hotkey, the one I would usually use for spamming. No way. Can I get it? Maybe I should have cleared that first. It did deal a lot of damage after all. You die? I still think I'm ahead though, no? How many works do you have, mate? Tell me this. Am I winning this? It's one gas. So I'm gonna have more gas income, that's for sure. Just add a second gate. Do I just play standard two gate from here? I don't think he has a cyber core quite yet either. How sick would it be if I just play a standard two gate from this? Oh wait, this one comes back home, the other one goes in. Wait, how did this... Wait, where, where did it come from? Was that aggressively there? I could have built more cannons maybe. But maybe I couldn't, hard to say. This is the first time I think in my entire life that I got the that cannon, cannon rush down. That is very exciting. I also saw a probe move out on the map, so I still believe he might be proxying me with something. Wait, did I just see something? Was that a zealot? That was a zealot indeed. Should I fool all this temporarily? I think I should now. It's gonna try and kill my pylon as well as a result. It's one thing I do know for sure. It's gonna get a, a gate maybe in the wall? Okay, stalker, stalker adept is what we're playing for here. Yeah, come on, keep attacking that. I don't give a crap about that, matey. You <laughs> 
kill it for all I care. I don't think that's in vision range. Definitely don't believe that to be in vision range. Yeah, now we piss off. We're gonna send this across the map. Glory to the day Maybe I can even catch up with that zealot. That would be kind of high tier. Can we just play a macro game from here? Or a semi macro? He doesn't even have a necklace yet. I keep forgetting about that. I think it might be a. Okay, look at this. We're gonna time it properly. Please tell me I get vision of your base. Stargate! Caught. Caught the Stargate. Cancel this then. Nexus? And I want to see what your first unit is made. We're gonna put this downstairs. Uh oh. I want to see what your first unit is, Chief. It's going to be an Oracle. Oh, he's no clue about my Stargate. He has no clue about my Stargate. Ooh, in that case, we're just winning now. If one player has a clue about the Stargate, the other one doesn't. You know what that means? That means that one player is going to lose. That's what it means. He's going to find me here in the middle of the map. It's not going to be a pretty fine for him. I hope he doesn't have a recall. Then it's game. It's actually game. Come on. Micro this properly, Kevin. No recall. Two. Oh, battery is close by enough or what? Oh, it's one shot away. You can't be serious. You actually can't be serious. Is he really phoenixing his, himself out of this? You can't phoenix yourself out of everything, buddy. Oh, I didn't micro that properly. <laughs> that was a... I think I'm gonna cancel this second Stargate, honestly, because it feels like a mistake. I, 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 I can't... I don't think I can even afford that. Nah, that's a mistake. We're canceling. I know he's building some Phoenix, but he believes that I'm messing Phoenix. And he knows that I have a natural already, so... Yeah, this, this would be ridiculous right now. My one Stalker will be enough to deal with his one Oracle, because he has such a low Oracle. This wouldn't be the case if he had a higher HP Oracle, then I probably need a battery at some point. He's probably continuing to build... I'm not sure if he's continuing to build Phoenix, actually. No, he's not. Oh, it's Dark Shrine, maybe? Or just blink. One of the two. It doesn't matter. I already built the Robo. The moment he saw my second Stargate, he knew that he couldn't go for it anymore. That was actually good for me in a way. Okay, now he should know as well that it's time to leave the game. Yep. So we're just gonna get uh, one of these bad boys at home. One Observer at home. We have six Phoenixes. Um, he's most likely gonna have a proxy somewhere. And then we win the game. That's just, that's just how it's gonna go. There's no uh, no two ways around it. I can't believe my cannon rush like that worked. I've never done that before properly. Not that I can recall. Maybe once? I actually can't remember it once happening like this. It felt so good. Once, a, Because it's the ultimate moment of, oh no, you didn't pay attention for a millisecond. Now you've lost the game. Congratulations. It really does just feel... I don't know. Not that you got outsmarted, but that, you you know, you weren't paying attention enough. This is how it's supposed to feel. God, I love cannon rushing so much. I don't think there's any build that can give me as much joy as a proper, well-executed cannon rush. He's probably looking for a position to build from, to build his uh, units from. Because I still believe he's either playing Zealots, or sorry, Zealots, either playing his uh, Blink all in, or he's going for DTs. If he's playing DTs, then... Needs to have a pylon somewhere around. Playing for blink. Also needs to have a gateway. Gateway plus pylon. Either way, I'm gonna try and find that. Because it's important for me. Get a twilight as well. I mean, we're so far ahead. If we still manage to lose this game, that would just be plain impressive. Nothing but just... Fairly, yeah. Just, just very, very, very impressive. If you want plus one, I mean, might as well. I'm getting all the upgrades right now, you know? Making sure there's no hidden bases. Probably would be a good plan as well. Building a natural. I feel like he has a hidden base somewhere. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not buying the facade. 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 Ah, there we go. What did I say? Not buying the facade. He had two Twilight Councils? This is a new build that I'm not uh, familiar with. Yeah, okay, we, we cleared all the workers here. I want charge, I think, no? Probably. 
it seems high tier at least. We go and kill one more worker. Why did he build two twilights? That seems bad. It feels like that might have been a mistake. And not on purpose. Do we want the Dark Shrine? Why not? Oh, you're gonna die. At least one of them is gonna die. Good pickup for me. Oh, he's actually wanting to attack me? My plan here is to make sure that no robo gets built. If a robo gets built, I'm just going to snipe it. Snipe the observer when it pops out. That's the plan. I'm gonna get a prism across the map as well. That's my. This is the second part of my plan. Wait, wait, wait. I know he's doing something stupid. I just don't know what yet. Just continue to build more and more workers. It's pissing me off at least a little bit. That was a good fight for me. Fairly good fight for me even. Okay. Where is your dark shrine? Or sorry, where is your robotics facility, my friend? Without the robotics, you'll die. If you don't build the robotics, my friend, you will end up crying. I hope he didn't see that. I hope he thinks there was this. I'm supply blocked. You hate to see it, don't you? Oh yeah, this is the one. So we can right click it maybe even. I think we might be capable of getting this. And the best part is, is that even if he gets the observer out, we have this bad boy to snipe the observer that comes out. I think we won the game then, no? Definitely does feel like it. Is he really gonna try and attack up here now? That feels good as well. This is why StarCraft is truly the greatest game in the world. It's not because of the speed, it's because you can't cannon rush against everyone. This guy has 6 2. Destroyed him. If you don't pay attention for a millisecond, the game can just be over. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just great? I don't care about my third vision. Or... No, GG from Spots! Oh, 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 what a great way to end there. I just want to relive the moment in slow motion once more. Once more, okay? So I get spotted immediately with a quick move out from this probe. Gateway scout or so. So I get spotted. I'm like, okay, he moves down, figures me out. It should be obvious what I'm doing. And then, yeah, let's take a look at what he's looking at. Bam, bam, second gateway. Ooh, maybe second gas. Let me check my probe real fast. Oh, what's happening on the moon? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, actually, they have so many minerals. This fourth pilot was really close. Oh, it feels so good. You just want to leave the game immediately after. Yeah, I don't need APM anymore. Anyway, I just need to build a cannon. And you just move away from the keyboard. <sighs> and an OGG as well. 154. 94. I think we won six games in a row or so, no? Is that really what we did here? One, two, three, four, five, six games in a row. Oh, that was beautiful. Actually beautiful. And that also is going to be it for me today. Thanks everyone so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you, and bye-bye.